Indianapolis Motor Speedway is annually the Midwest's biggest springtime party off track, but there was plenty of exciting action on track just two days before the greatest spectacle in racing. Festivities kicked off Friday with the final one hour practice session for the 33 starters of the 102nd Indianapolis 500 with conditions very similar to what drivers should expect on a warm race day on Sunday. It's been a remarkably clean month of May for Danica Patrick, but mechanical gremlins forced her to gasoline alley at the midway point of the final practice. Thankfully for Danica fans, her team would get that GoDaddy Chevrolet back on track and she'd end the session eighth fastest. Indy 500 veterans dominated the speed charts in the final practice as Tony Kanaan, Scott Dixon, and Marco Andretti ended the day as the three fastest on track. The future stars of the Verizon IndyCar Series got to showcase their talents on card day with the annual Freedom 100 for the Indy Light Series presented by Cooper Tires. In one of the most competitive races in Light's history, the record for lead changes was shattered as drivers like Dalton Kellett, Pato Award, Santi Arutia, and Colton Herta set the new mark at 20 lead changes in the 40-lap race. In the end, second-generation driver Colton Herta was able to fend off a great challenge by teammate Pato Award, scoring the victory by half a car to pick up the win in the Freedom 100 and take over the points lead in Indy Lights. And before race fans could rock out with Train and Blues Traveler, the unsung heroes on the IndyCar pit crews got a chance to shine in the annual Indy 500 Pit Stop Challenge. Despite not qualifying for the race, James Hinchcliffe's Aero Electronics team were fast, knocking out Will Power's Verizon Team Penske crew in the first semifinal. The Schmidt-Peterson crew would get to square off in the finals with the Ganassi PNC Bank crew for Scott Dixon, who knocked off the Napa crew of Alexander Rossi for Andretti Autosport. In the finals, Ganassi's Wolfpack would not be denied winning the best of three round over the Schmidt crew to claim the title. Watch the 102nd running of the Indianapolis 500, Sunday, May 27th at 11 a.m. on ABC.